When I first came in, I was an outsider. I moved here in 94, 93-ish uh, from Niagara Falls, and I came from a, a city that had a very um, underappreciated, underexposed uh, music scene in the Niagara region that uh, had a very non-emphasis on original music, which my band at the time there uh, was doing. So it was very hard to get decent gigs um, or promotion at all. So when I came here and saw the level of absolute talent and uh, the genuine, almost uh, seeming love for original music as opposed to the cover acts, uh, I was immediately immersed. When we got the Death or Conver cassette tape, <laughs> we got it, we were living in the same house on Bridge and we got the cassette tape as a as an application for one of the festivals. I think it was 2008, maybe 2009. And I was like, how can you, we can't even listen to this. How can you bother to give it a chance? And then Murad went to, I don't know, probably the Fog Lounge and talked to somebody about this cassette tape that I had such deep doubts about. <laughs> and he put him on stage and then you know, despite our disagreement, they had one of the biggest crowds hanging out outside of Milk. And the people who are, you know, coming out of their houses, are, they're still consuming some sort of, you know, usually vis audio-visual stimulation of, of some kind, right? And yeah, I mean, these are people who are working in your own community making these things, and that has always interested me, personally, is just, the fact that your neighbor is this guy who writes these crazy songs in his basement or, you know, the person down the road is a fashion designer and they design all these, like, really cool things that you would see on a runway somewhere while you're hiding watching your TV. 